Hey everyone, this is Nazicat, and I'm giving you another video on copper. Now I got $25 face value of copper pennies here, and I also have, uh, if you can see it, one pound of copper, and this is a copper bar, okay? So, uh, which one should you invest in? Okay. Obviously, the copper pennies would be really good because you're not really spending a lot of money, um, not hardly anything at all. I mean, you're giving $25 worth, you know, you're sorting through the pennies, you're pulling out the copper ones, and you're reselling the zinc ones. And worst case scenario, if I wanted to take this to the bank, um, then I can just uh, get my $25 back, okay? And so for the bar, I spent $20 on this, okay? So, let's go ahead and take a look at coinflation here. Okay, let's kind of zoom in here. There, coinflation. And as you can see, as of November uh, 7th, 2011, copper is up at $3.56 a pound. And if you're investing in copper, you got to understand that. that it's by pound, not ounces. Okay, so I have one pound right here. As you guys can see, one pound, point nine 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 fine USA, okay, and I have my little calculator up because I wanted to uh, show you the um, the uh, premiums on these suckers, okay, and now this is where math comes into play, huh, huh? And you thought math wasn't really going to be as valuable in the real world? All right, let's take a look. I got three dollars and fifty six okay a pound three fifty six okay minus and I paid total twenty dollars okay look at that that's my premium on one pound of a copper bar sixteen dollars and forty four cents is that a good deal oh hell no but you got to remember something. And I kind of was thinking about this. Um, let's just say, you know, let's be positive here. Let's say copper goes up, right? Awesome. Hyperinflation hits. Awesome. Let's say the mining companies are mining less and less copper. Let's say that it's uh, the same scenario as silver right now. Copper's being consumed. Copper's running low. They're mining less and less. Um, hyperinflation hits. Copper skyrockets, Okay. Now, the thing is, is that this 1644, all right, would totally just be gone because uh, in my little scenario, you know, copper has skyrocketed. So paying the premium of 1644 to me, it's fine, okay, because I, I made out like a bandit because the price of copper went up. Now, you got to understand something here. These are would be worth something if and only if Congress lifts um, the ban on melting these things, okay? This is not coinage. This is a copper bar. I can take this to the refinery and, and, and sell it to them and melt this down, and I will still get my money, okay? You can't get your money here unless Congress says, okay, go ahead and melt them. This one, I can get my money, okay? And that's the thing... I kind of don't like about the copper pennies is, you know, it's all on Congress. It's all on Congress. And if Congress says, no, I'm not going to melt them, you're stuck with these. Worst case scenario, you're just going to sell them back for a dollar. Um, I mean, um, sell these back for $25. Okay. But you have to think about opportunity costs. In my last video, I talked about that. All right. So you sacrifice buying. Let's say you sacrifice buying silver. And you wanted to park this because you felt that it's going to go up. And, you know, let's say in my, in my scenario, it did go up. But the thing is that Congress, yeah, mm, Congress has, let me put it this way. Congress ain't got nothing on this, all right? So I can, uh, I can go and melt this, get my money's worth, and I'll be a happy camper, okay? So, I mean, that's probably the only positive thing I can think about in terms of getting these bars. 
You know, and then if you get one pound, one kilo, it's worth more because some of the um, copper rounds, I've seen them being sold as low as a dollar fifty, and as high as four dollars a coin. All right, and that's one ounce. You know, so if we think about it, let's say the the copper coin. Um, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys what the copper coin looks like. All right, here you go. This one has a little buffalo. I'll try to get the lighting right here. This one has a buffalo, and then on the back it has this kind of symbol. And a lot of the copper bullion, they um, they have the same back. There we go. And they have different um, types of uh, pictures in the, I guess this would be the obverse. And this would probably be the reverse. Not sure. But anyway, this is $4. Okay, and you got to remember, copper deals with pounds. 16 ounces. 16 of these bad boys equals one of these. Okay. So, of course, let's go do the math. All right. Let me clear this out here. So, 16 times, that's 4 bucks a piece, $64, okay? You would spend $64 uh, on this just to get one pound of this. Now, I paid $20, and if I had to buy enough to, to cover at least one pound, I would have paid $64. So, again, the... The uh, copper bullion is not really the good investment, okay? So I'd probably go with higher bars, kilos, or maybe a pound. Um, but then again, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm getting out of copper, okay? I have these two. This one was a gift to me. This one I just bought just to have a bar. Um, and again, you know, in terms of investment-wise, I'm investing heavily on silver. So I'm going to put the majority... A percentage of investing in silver and uh, this will be low and gold will be low because uh, I can't afford it and um, I don't know I just like silver so anyway so which should you invest I mean you have to think long term too you know I like the coins because you know face value they're just a penny uh, you can always trade them back in so there's no risk right but the only thing about them is, there it is, the C word, Congress, right? These two, on the other hand, Congress ain't got nothing on them. The problem is, is that, you know, you're going to be paying a lot uh, for these premiums. And I talked to a dealer. They said, you're basically paying for the etching, the picture, um, all that stuff. I mean, I'm sure the process of mining copper uh, and, and uh, making it into bars might have some type of process and it does cost a lot to do it i don't know okay but in my personal opinion um, if you wanted to invest in copper and if you really wanted to um have some copper in your investment portfolio um then i would probably go with the higher bars the big bars okay and um, I think someone on YouTube was saying that a lot of the copper refineries don't deal with small little bullion. They deal with larger ones. Probably not so much of pounds and, and kilos, but they probably want like 100 kilos. Okay. And, you know, if right now you really want to invest in copper, go for it. You know, as of right now, again, it's $3.56. Uh, Okay, before it used to be high. I mean, these pennies, look at that, they're, two, they're worth two cents. So you're doubling your money. And I can see why people want to hoard them and things like that. But again, Congress. Okay, so um, just I uh, want you to think about that. You know, think about the premiums that you're going to be uh, uh, forced to pay to get some of these stuff. But again, you know, all in all, go for the really, really large bars. In this case, you know, there are times for silver, you want to go with the smaller bars. This one splurge on the big bars. Okay. Um, it's a lot easier to, to store, too. I mean, these are really thin. 
and normally copper does tarnish and and as you can see I touched it without the plastic so it gives off this tone so I just said okay I'm just gonna leave it in the plastic okay um, you can order these online I got this from a dealer uh, she sells them for 20 um, I believe copper cave sells them for like 10 bucks so plus shipping though and tax I don't know uh, my dealer she didn't tax me she just gave me straight 20 so again you know you gotta look at the deals you gotta look at what you're willing to pay for it um, and so that's my video so uh, hopefully uh, this helps you guys out in determining what kind of copper you want to invest in if you wanted to go that route okay and again uh, um, remember just calculate your premiums do you want to pay $64 for one pound or $20 for one pound um, and then your resource coinflation.com if you're dealing with uh, copper and nickel uh, things like that um, so there you have it um, please uh, go ahead and feel free to make some comments and there might be stuff that I might be missing so um, go ahead and comment let's have a discussion you know and you know I don't want people saying hey you know what you know you don't know what you're talking about you know and, and it's all educational you know there's some things I don't know there's some things I do know you know, let's just share information. Let's just try to become more um, knowledgeable in the metal or more knowledgeable in the hobby if you're collecting. All right. You know, like I said in the last video, uh, no poop heads here. Okay. You guys uh, take care and have a good day.